Hey guys, so today I'm just going to take down all my Christmas decorations finally. I figured I'm having a really quiet weekend. It's actually a public holiday here in Australia and I didn't feel like putting on makeup like at all this weekend and there was nothing I really wanted to film any videos about like that was beauty related wise. I just kind of wanted to have like a rest, have a little mental break and then like do all my house stuff. So I figured I should probably take down my Christmas decorations. So I'm just going to pop music over like a time lapse of me like rearranging my lounge room and stuff. I kind of feel like I want to play around with like moving my couches around and stuff. I don't know if I'll move them and it'll stay like that, but I just, I feel like I just want to change some things about. So we'll just see how it goes. I might literally change it and it'll last like that for a week, who knows, but um, just gonna have a play, take down the Christmas decorations and go from there. So if you guys want to just watch along, you know, play it in the background while you're doing your own housework or you're watching to encourage your housework, then keep on watching, you know? Uh, anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> boring and dull now that my Christmas tree is not up but I don't know what to do to make it not look dull. I don't know what to do really. Okay, I've had enough for today. I'm tired. We'll continue this saga another day. Literally what I do every single day, a creature habit, but today's video is really exciting because I got a new computer! Oh, I'm so excited, so I figured I'd just unbox it for the vlog. Um, it's literally like, what's the time? 7 a.m. So it's really early, so I'm doing this before I have to get ready and go to work because I just wanted to get it all set up and um, I knew if I can get it done now while I'm having my coffee and my PJ, and wouldn't get it done, so gonna set it up and bring you guys along for the ride and show you my new computer. Um, I got this because my old Mac computer, it's like four years old and it's just had it. The process is running really slow so I can't actually edit on it anymore because it lags so much. And um, I do have my little MacBook here, but I find I get really sore wrists 
from just editing on my MacBook and I find it's really bad for my posture too because I end up like slouching like this over my MacBook so I just needed to get a proper desktop computer again and like if you're spending as much time on the computer as what I spend on the computer I think it's pretty important to have like an ergonomical setup otherwise you can do some real serious damage to your body like my wrists have just been killing me ever since my computer shut itself and I've been using just my MacBook. So I'm glad to finally get a computer back. I got it boosted with like some extra memory and stuff. So hopefully this one stands um, test time. I think four years is pretty good for a computer when you think about it. Like I had that actual computer for four years, the whole entire time I've been doing YouTube. So I reckon that's pretty good, pretty good stint. And um. As for this one, I financed it because it is a really expensive computer. So I have what's called a credit line card. So in Australia, they have like different cards that offer like interest free periods. So Apple will do six to 12 months interest free with that. So it works out well. So all my Apple products I've always put on that card and paid off. I did with my MacBook as well because who wants to pay like that much money up front? I don't. I don't want to see that guy to my account straight away. So yeah. Let's get into unboxing it and show you guys. I am so excited. So I'm just going to move all this stuff off my little desk. Um, this chair as well is from Dick Smith and this desk is just from um, Fantastic Furniture. I love how MAC products come packaged. They're just so fancy. So heavy. I've already undone all the boxes because I noticed that the big cardboard box had a bit of a ding in it. And I was worried they were gonna smash my screen, but thankfully I think the way they package them, it's pretty hard to break them. Look at that, like just opening an Apple product, I swear, no matter what it is, is like one of the most amazing things ever. <laughs> so this has a keyboard with it as well. Ooh, and the mouse. I think, is it a magic mouse? Or is it normal? I think it is a magic mouse, so I have to charge it. Oh, and do we charge the keyboard too? Ooh. Oh, yes. So that's the awesome thing. So my old keyboard and Apple mouse, it was battery operated and it used to chew up batteries so much, the mouse in figure. But now they're rechargeable, so I just have to charge them. <gasps> Look how fancy this is. Like, yes. So you literally charge it by connecting the little charger to this port here. Look how beautiful it is, it's so light. Oh, I'm so excited, puppy dolls. Oh god, this already feels so much better. You guys have no idea to just have like a computer screen right here. I'm so excited. I have this little acrylic thingy that I got, I think, from like Target or Big W or something. It's actually meant to put like bathroom stuff in, so I think you meant to put cotton rounds in there, but I think it shall work for pens. Actually, the pens might fall out. Do the middle one. Go. Do you know what? I can probably put my little conversion thing in there and that in there. Little nail file in there. Little hair tie. And that can be sick. So 
So I also um, got another planner, which I'll show you guys. So I was very kindly gifted this little Kiki planner um, for Christmas. And it's a really good, cute little planner, but it's just like a little bit too small, I feel like. Good if you're like out and about and you need to take your planner with you. But I sort of wanted something that was a bit bigger, that I could map out like all my YouTube content and like if I'm going away and like sponsorships and social media stuff. I was actually on Instagram and this was a targeted ad to me through Instagram and um, this happened to be a great targeted ad and I'm sorry I look so disgusting. Like my hair is like an oil slick. But this was targeted to me on Instagram advertising and it's called the Big Time um, Planner, I think. And it's from a company called Ronnie & Co, which is an Australian company. And it is like a really nice big A4 planner. How cool is this? It's like pink, so totally my aesthetic, and it's just like a huge, big A4 planner. So as you guys can see, you have like a column for every day, so I can really break down my tasks. And at the start of every month, you have like a goal planner. Oh, at the very start, you have like goal planning, I mean, and then you have like a big month calendar so I can pop in there like when I'm going away and stuff like that and I just thought it was a little bit more appropriate because I just I can't write very small and I also wanted something big that I could like visualize better and I figured the bigger the planner the more I can visualize like I was saying I really like having my computer out here in the living area because after I've been filming all day I get like I get a little bit claustrophobic in my beauty room, like I'm not gonna lie, especially because when I finish filming, usually my beauty room is absolute chaos. Like it's always neat before I start a weekend of filming, but then after a weekend, it's just like an absolute mess and I've gotta clean it again. And typically I'm so like wanting to just sit down and edit straight away that I just don't really want to be sitting in the mess, in the room, locked away. And then usually as soon as I finish, um, filming, Brett starts making music and he doesn't wear headphones when he makes music. So our rooms are right next to each other and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it sends me fucking crazy. Um, so it's nice for me to come sit out here because I can sit with the dogs. I can put the TV on in the background quietly. I've got the kitchen right there. It's open, it's airy. I've got outside so I can literally look out my window and see the beautiful horses and I can see the storms if the storms happen. So it's a really nice little spot for me. and. I actually don't think my computer looks hideous set up there. Like, I'm just trying to stand back and have a look. I feel like it doesn't look bad there. Like, it doesn't look super out of place because typically when people have, like, their computer set up, so they usually have their computer set up against a wall, and I could always, like, push the couch forward more or over the side more and have my computer just up against that wall, which would work as well. And I figured I might actually do that eventually. I might, because like we don't use these three pieces of couch over here in the corner. And I figured I might get rid of them. <laughs> I don't know where to, because like they're kind of useless. Like unless you have the whole U-shaped lounge, these sort of three little bits are not really very useful to anyone. Um, but then I thought, well maybe someone might want the little two-piece white section for like, I don't know, like a guest room or a studio or like a rumpus room or something. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I figured I'll figure that out eventually, but I kind of want to see what this room would look like if I had that removed and had a sideboard there with nice artwork on the wall and just had my lounge and then I could maneuver my desk into this little space here, um, which would be quite cute. I don't know. We'll just play with it and we'll see how it goes. But Hey guys, it is Friday. I think it's the 1st of February. Can't believe that, what the hell. Um, I am just feeling like a zombie still after, like in my last vlog, I think I told you guys that I felt just like really mentally exhausted, but I'm actually physically exhausted too, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I had glandular fever last year it can affect your immunity for quite some time and quite often a lot of people that have had glandular fever like experience ongoing like fatigue and stuff when they get run down and um yeah i just think my body's just like mm, you know what we're just going to function at half speed for the next couple weeks for you oh, where is the handle there and now i'm just going in to take some things to the op shop uh to donate some clothes 
I donate a lot of clothes very regularly actually because I'm lucky enough to get gifted a lot um, because of YouTube but like there's only so many clothes one person can wear so even when I really love things sometimes I just don't have a time or place to wear them so I just donate them so someone else can love them it's a fucking huge horse I wish I could show you but there's another car coming it's a really narrow road so I can't really stop um what was I even saying oh I was saying on stories I just like I randomly got a health lab probiotic ball thing in like a goodie bag for something and it was about to expire in February so I was like oh, I'll just fucking eat it see what it tastes like and it was so good and they do like protein balls and stuff as well so they sell them online but apparently they have like supplements that they sell at Woolworths um, and one of them is like just a general health and well-being one that's meant to help with fatigue so I was like oh okay well I kind of want to get some snacks and stuff from the supermarket so I might just see if they've got it at my local Woolies and um you're a fuckwit oh mate so I have no cars on my left hand side they have parked cars that car that was just coming then and instead of slowing down and allowing me to proceed considering I had no obstruction of cars on my side he just fanged it if I hadn't had have stopped us in he would have knocked my fucking mirror off Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let me unload this stuff off the top shop. No worries. Um, now I think I'll go back this way because there's too much traffic up on the main road oh, there we go hopefully someone else can get some loving out of those clothes um, a lot of the stuff that I donate to is literally brand new and unworn so it makes me feel good just donating it there's no car behind me I just want to show you guys how big this fucking horse is oh he's staring at me look how big he is really hope you guys can see him there we go can you, oh, he looks so little on camera. He's just staring at me. He looks huge. Hello, horsey. <laughs> I was going to block, oh, my Ooh. camera battery's about to die. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so rude. <laughs> so, I was going to try and vlog while I was doing my groceries, but I mean, I couldn't do it by myself. It's scary when you're by yourself. When I'm with other people, I can do it, but yeah, not by myself. Um, what I really want to show you guys is the supplement I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. Health Lab Lifestyle Blend. So I'm excited to give this a go and see if it helps with my energy and just overall like feeling better. So it be interesting to see how it goes. Um, I think I might actually make a little smoothie now and try out that, that supplement and have my little bit of leftover stir fry from last night because it's kind of late. It's like two o'clock. So I don't really want to have like a full size meal. Let's make a smoothie. So with the instructions of this, it says add 10 grams of the blend, approx one scoop into your smoothie, nut, milk, or water. Mix well with a blender, shaker, or spoon. So it's chocolate flavored. This is what I was looking for, this incredible invention. So when you cut open an avocado, right, and you only want to use half of it, they go brown really quickly. So this is so you can put the avocado in it and it doesn't go as brown as quick. Cool, right? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. And the reason I'm using frozen banana instead of fresh banana is just so it makes the smoothie a little bit cooler, a little bit colder rather than like room temperature. You could just use like cold water if you wanted to or different fruits, whatever. 
but I think just plain banana and chocolate taste good together. And then I've got some baby spinach, which I feel like I should wash. Just gave a little rinse and pop it straight in there. There we are. So see what you do with the other half of the avocado. You just pop it in this little thingy and strap it on over. And it helps to stop it going brown. So good. I'm just going to put this whole half of the avocado because avocado is very good for you. Don't know why because I'm not a nutritionist, but I just know it's good for you. It doesn't really smell very chocolatey. It kind of smells like matcha a green tea sort of so i'm going to put a full scoop in of that water put this on and then take it over to my little nutribullet oh it smells like chocolate now let's give her a blend Baby diarrhea. <laughs> oh, moment of truth. Yeah, it smells like chocolate and banana. Funny that. It's It tastes like banana bread. <laughs> Literally tastes like banana bread. I reckon this would be really good with a squirt of honey in it too. Hmm. I like it. Does anyone else half chew their smoothies too? Even though it's liquid, I feel like I need to like clamp my teeth down a few times before I can swallow it. I like the taste of it, so that's really good news. I guess it's gonna be interesting to see if I feel like it helps me, like give me more energy. Guess we shall find out.